Jorge, picada, fish, fish, guy, airman. All right, we have to get quick into the boat. Fuck. Because we are fishing over some seaweed, really close to some rocks. Fast, fast. Okay, me meto solo, no te espero. Okay. You get in with me, eh? Okay, like this. You go a bit, a bit behind. Okay. Okay. Sorry, to go a bit. To the left. Okay. Still on. We're gonna go slowly to him. Over the weeds. Did you see them jumping? I bet they're not so big. I don't know. Eh? Maybe we should move. <laughs> Someone jumped there. It's not, not enough activity, I would say. I know other fishermen that are f fishing right now here, and the result, the results aren't uh, good either. And, uh, can you specify a reason for that? Mm, I think the conditions are at the moment too stable. Too, they like. Big storms, wind here, and at the moment they're just not really eating. We are now looking for showing fish in the morning in this lake. They jump a lot, they show a lot compared to other lakes. And we are trying to figure out where the fish are passing by and rolling to play some rods there. Most of the areas are already covered, but we will try better.
really well at the goal, I think. Yeah. You think maybe a, a tench uh, touch the bite? Because it, nothing is, is really on now. Always the tench. Yeah, <laughs> Every, everywhere. <laughs> One just showed there. Now it's difficult to see it because of the wind. But he jumped, not, not so big, but one fish. <laughs> the problem is we have like 14 or 15 meters left in that area, so it's gonna be difficult to catch them. You can place a rig there the whole night, three days, but the fish are swimming on the top, so we also tried fishing with sig rigs, everything, but Sometimes it's just a matter of fishing closer to the to the shore. So we already drive around uh, four or five kilometers from our spot. We saw a few spots, um, some of them were sadly taken, good spots are always taken. We saw some uh, active fish activity in one area, but I still don't think it's enough. It's spring right now and the fish should be a bit more active. So I'm really thinking about if we're going in the other direction of the lake uh, to the shallow, shallower part of the lake or going more in the deeper part. Yeah, let's see if we have connection because yeah, we're here a bit in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> Okay. How, okay, how how is it going? Is there any news in our spot? Quiet, quiet. Fish jumping, but not feeding, as always. <laughs> Here we, I found a few areas where the fish were also jumping. One of them was a bit too too deep, and yeah, I'm thinking about if we should m rather move to the shallow part of the lake, more in the other direction, you know, or going more where I am right okay. now I don't know one of the non written rules for me is uh, 24 hours no fish I move maximum two nights in one spot in which we really have confidence but doesn't work if we have spent two nights in one spot and didn't catch anything or maybe not as much as expected pack up and move yeah, my brother sometimes he, no, he's a person that sometimes he thinks like, yeah, uh, fish are just not active in the whole lake. So we're gonna wait for an activity peak independently on, on the spot, no? And sometimes he prefers to stay longer and on, on some sessions it was really worth it to do that. But I am such a nervous person and it has worked, it worked for me many times that uh, I was thinking, okay, 24 hours, no bite. I was moving, it was a lot of work. And we have to have everything prepared in the afternoon to be quick because moving is something that takes really a lot of time and energy and you want to do it quick so that you can fish properly on the next spot. So it's really a tough thing to do, but the experience will make it better. When is it worth it? I guess we will never know because when you left the, the spot, you, you never know what, what fish were eating after you left, no? <laughs> Well, uh, we don't hear you properly. I think if you come and we talk it out. Oh. Ciao. Yeah, it, it has no... The connection is so bad. <laughs> but yeah. Vale. I would suggest that we have breakfast and then we think about it. <laughs> Thank you.
I think we should move, but more to the other side, not where we have been looking for, more to the shallow water. It's a difficult decision because uh, this is also a good spot. It is a good spot, but I think it's not a bad idea to to, to move. I check the weather. Mm -hmm. and tomorrow the pressure will drop, mm -hmm. so that could be good yeah. in any spot. So. It doesn't matter what decision we make, we should be with the rods on the water and in a good spot on that time when yeah. the temperatures and the, and the yeah, pressure that, drops. That's for sure. I think my brother and me, we are different, but we complement ourselves really good. We fish more or less like the same, but we like different strategies. I'm basically setting traps to catch the passing fish and my brother is fishing more for the fish that are going to be in one area feeding. He's setting, let's say, bigger traps with more bait to catch maybe more fish, but it can take some time uh, to the fish to get there and feed a lot. If my strategy works, we usually switch a little bit to my strategy or my area and vice versa. I think, yeah, we're just a, a good team. So the fishing has been a little slow this morning, so we are changing tactics right now. Very simple, spinner rig with a 15 millimeters yellow pineapple pop-up. It should make it at least a little more attractive than the baits in the, in the bottom. This morning, see a lot of fish jumping in this area here. So we are thinking they are just passing by and we are trying to find the prolongation of the land in this part here, because it makes kind of a lower depth and then it goes deep again. And I will try to place the rig on top of that prolongation so that the passing fish will probably see it and just drop by curiosity and eat it. So we are using the electric motor here because we don't want to spook the fish out. If you have a sunny day, like today, I like to leave it with all the syrup a bit on the sun, so everything sucks all the, the syrup in, and this would be our mix for fishing in spring.
So another tip that I can give you when you place your rod, uh, many guys use some kind of markers, but in this case, fishing in such a big distance, if my fish gets tangled with the, with the marker, I will probably lose the fish. So I'm gonna look for a visual marker. In this case, in that shore, you can see over there, two white big rocks. And I just found a little uh, bank of, of seaweeds right there. So we're gonna place the rods just in front of the seaweeds, having the visual reference of those two big rocks. So in case we got a, a bite, we can come, put the rod again, and we will be fishing in exactly the same spot without getting tangled with any, any marker. Go! <laughs> no sé, yo diría 14 kilos. So, sí, ya yeah, 14, 15 kilos. Muévelo, ponmelo otra vez debajo. Dale el regalo de las aletas. Oh yeah. Congratulations good, good. to you. Thank you. Good start in the night. Yeah, let's see if it keeps going. So next, well. next one is yours, eh? You know I it. hope so. <laughs> <sighs> Very nice. Feel better, yeah. You can see the 
really nice fish. Look, not one scale is missing. The mouth must be also perfect. Wild, perfect fish. Amazing. Vamos. <laughs> It's night night. I'm gonna drive a bit around, check if there is fish in one area. I think they might be. It's like a continuous hunt, and that's why I, I really like it. You really feel like a hunter. You go at night, at day, to, to see the jumps, to see the fish moving, and then you get after them, or you think, okay, they were yesterday in that area, and they are moving in this direction because there is the shallow water, so I will catch them in three, four days in between, and all those plants and all this adventure, it's what really keeps me going. <laughs> it's a good moment of the day to check if they are showing up, if they are jumping. They will do it at this time. It's a bit difficult because I'm a bit tired, but we have to find them. guys I'm taking the fish now from the rod we put it out yesterday with the pop-up the strategy is working we are finding some fish I also lost one fish tonight sadly in a rod I had further out let's see if we get this one out I'm glad I had a second chance for another fish so let's see It was stuck for a moment. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yes. Finally. The strategy is working. TX1 banana and pineapple pop up on the spinner rig. What's the job? Two, two, one. Tengo un pez, eh, una pequeña. Uh, what is the decision made? So I think we are staying because yesterday, as we told you, we have that rule of 24 hours without a bite, then move. And tonight we got three bites in total. Fish are on the area. I think we found some interesting points. So I think we are staying. Yeah. And in general, like in other parts of the lake, they're not really catching now. No, I think it it will pay off here, staying. We are in the right direction. And I think if we keep doing it like this, conditions are also getting better. We could manage uh, a few more fish and hopefully better ones as well. Yeah, let's see. <laughs> now for some breakfast. Yes. Este para ti. Apaga el camping gas. Que lo ha acabado. Luego no sé. As you can see, I'm using a little 
rubber piece here. It's like a little kicker and when the carp is sucking the bait it turns the hook and will always set the hook right. Doesn't matter if it's from behind, it's gonna always turn the hook and set it in the mouth. <laughs> For me fishing is uh, way more than catching fish. I'm a person that loves to be outside in the nature, like eating in the nature, sleeping in the nature, living uh, in the nature. So besides catching the fish, for me it's more yeah, that looking for that freedom that I find out there. That's why I normally go to, to big lakes, uh, big reservoirs to find that that freedom so yeah besides of fishing I also look for adventure and um, I I don't think you can really find like big adventures in like little lakes so I try to get it as big as it gets so here we are <laughs> I had to do it, sorry. Ahí va. Ay, Larry, eh. Larry is. Es así, eh. Es así. Day dreaming, though. And the other one as well, eh. Vamos. ¿La tienes? ¿Tienes la caña? Vale, vale. ¿Tú vas con él? Sí. Dame el resto. Venga más cerca. Una, dos, te empujo, ¿eh? Sí, sí. Vale. We're slowly going to the fish because we are fishing over some weeds here. There's also some big rocks. So we're going in his direction. I feel him. All right. I keep reeling in like this to keep the tension on the line to avoid losing the fish in some crab nets or or big rocks. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. As I am fishing with braided line, you have to be very careful when you're fighting the fish to not lose it. Just keep the tension, but not too much. Okay, we're not we're not far from the fish. The blue just entered. I think he's gonna fight now a bit more. Okay. You can see it, it's a good fish. It's a good fish. Okay. Let's keep calm now. I just saw the fish for the first time. It looks 
it looks good but it's still it still has a lot of power I feel the weight it's a nice one oh whoa 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 it's very slow very slow we don't want to lose it we cannot lose it okay it's the moment oh no it's still still angry Whoa. Oh, he got again the fluto out. It's going into the deeper water. What a strong fish. It's okay, it's okay. Okay. He's coming. Getting closer to the net. Come on. Come on, closer, closer, yes, vamos, si, sí. Forja es buena tío, uh. yes man, yes, it's a big one, we did it man, we did it, we did it last night man, we did it! <laughs> Ole! 20 kilos! <laughs> oh. Yes! Oh. Man! <laughs> I suffered so much, you know, that with the best boats cutting the lines and what... Like, just the pressure of, of doing a video. And it worked in the last night. Oof! Always... You have to be patient, always. What a peak, look at the valley. What a fish. What a nice fish. Look at the valley. Big female. Okay, as you can see, the snowman that I just showed you today, LM94 with a TX1 pineapple pop-up blowback rig. It worked perfectly. La flor, Jorge. The la flower, the flower is, is still in me.
All right, so the session is over. At the beginning, we caught a few fish, so I think we played our cards well. It wasn't an easy session. We also had to take some important decisions. We were about to move, but we decided to stay, and I think it paid off. Yeah, I think we, we took into account the conditions. Uh, they were gonna change, and they were gonna be much better for us for fishing this spot. And at the last night, we caught a big one. Yeah. We got the fish that we wanted, and we are really, really happy. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I hope you guys enjoy it. Yeah, fishing with us and see you next time. Hasta la vista. <laughs>